Hey, Church family, it's Pastor Tim on Wednesday, January the 19th. I'm looking forward to being with you Sunday. I'm praying that there's no snow. We will continue Mission Emphasis Month. This week, we'll hear from Reverend Tony Thomas. He's one of the assistant pastors at Perimeter Church. He's going to be preaching to us from Joshua chapter 1 and our responsibility to help others find rest in Jesus Christ. Put on your calendars February the 6th, that Sunday night. We are going to have a wonderful time of fellowship in the street fair. The street fair is in the gym, and it's an opportunity to interact with our missionaries, to have some great food, some great activities. Your families will love it. Your children will love it. And we can do this and do it safely. We want to continue to engage each other and experience our gospel community. You know, the New Testament church faced hardships around every corner. Paul says that. We are distressed at every turn. Persecution from the national government, plagues and diseases without nearly the medical care that we have today, courts that were biased to the rich who would bribe their way into the court to get their rulings, thieves and robbers around every corner just on the roads to the next town. There were hardships around every corner, and yet the New Testament Christian is challenged to move through those hardships, to move through that anxiety, to not let those hardships cause them to pull back, to withdraw from society, but to move into it with the power of the Holy Spirit, with the confidence of the presence of Christ, to push through that anxiety, knowing that God is with us, that God is for us. We face hardships right now. COVID is a challenge. It's not the only one. There's economic challenges. We face similar challenges, not nearly like the New Testament church, but it certainly feels like there are hardships around every corner. There are losses around every corner. But we have to be like the New Testament church. We cannot withdraw. We cannot isolate. In fact, that's hurting us more than it's helping us. It feels natural to do. Let's pull back. Let's circle the wagons. But folks, that is hurting us. Mental health challenges are up 40% right now in our country. We need to follow the example of the New Testament church and the leadership of our Savior who calls us in faith to move into the challenges that we face. He promises to go with us, and I want to encourage you we need to come back together as a church family. We need to focus our investment on creating, maintaining, and extending gospel community. You need it. We need it. So move back in. Come back to worship. Wear your mask. Distance yourself. Make it safe for you to be there. You can do this in a safe way. Let's move back into ministry. Let's move back into volunteering in our, in our children's program, our youth programs. Let's move back into our small group ministries and having community with each other if you haven't been. Let's continue in faith and ask the Lord to use us to reach this community with the gospel of Jesus Christ. I look forward to seeing you Sunday. I hope you have a great week.